My family says there's something wrong with me, so I'm shutting the bathroom door here. Uh, the issue is unplugging the bathroom tub. And this is what flowed into my tub after I emptied the kitchen sink. So I'm bailing it right now. It's been like this for two days, basically, and into the toilet with it. Bail into the toilet. And then we're going to try these two, what's this, one second plumber and some liquid plumber. And we're going to see what it does here. So. Without further ado, you'll notice I've actually blocked blocked up my uh, whatever that thing is there in the tub because I've got several several uh, drains all draining into the same pipe, which is where the clog is. I've got the sink, which is a problem. I've got the bathtub because when you let the water out of the sink, it goes into the bathtub, and I've also got the kitchen sink is a problem because when you let it out of the kitchen sink it goes into the bathtub so the clog is obviously somewhere beyond that and of course after the night of debauchery with the scotch being uh, the day of Christmas Eve night it would be nice to have a bath Ugh, it's all greasy obviously turkey grease come up from the kitchen sink here so I've, um, I've applied the plunger a fair amount with the actual bathtub and it's not made an ounce of difference the clog is stuck tight um, and the reason being is just because of the many outlets so when I plunge in the bathtub it's um, the power is dissipated up through, through my sink through where the, where the washer drains um, a whole range of locations so we're, we're obviously as I say trying something a little different we're gonna have to soften the plug and then use that one minute plumber I'll see how that works so here's how I know that the uh, the plug is somewhere beyond the bathtub. I've got the sink on in the kitchen and the water is bubbling up here into the bathtub. Check it out. Boom! Out it comes all the scunge. So the plug is somewhere further along in the system. So it says pour one fifth of the bottle slowly down the drain. So here we go. And I guess you can you can actually do this through water. Pour that through the water. It's close to the house, the bottle, but anyway, I've got an extra, extra tough plug. I guess everyone feels they do. Um, other things it says is not to mix with other drain cleansers because it can cause poisonous gases like chlorine gas if you mix it with ammonia. So I'm in no way a trained plumber. This is just my own experimentation. Okay, I'm blocking up all the holes that may dissipate the power of the one second plumber. And uh, what I was doing yesterday, I was using the plunger but forgetting the fact that the washing machine drained into the system as well. So I wasn't blocking up that hole, so that may have been a problem. But anyway, so I've blocked the sink here, the plastic, I've blocked, it's whatever that thing is called, and the back of the sink, I've blocked the bottom. And I've blocked back here where the washing machine drains into the system as well. So obviously we don't want to run the washing machine with this not inside. It's, in other words, if I forget to put it back, we're gonna have some issues. Oh yes, and the kitchen sink blocked up as well. This is going to be my pressure head. I'm going to release all of this seconds before I use the one second plumber, which will give it a pressure head, a weight of water in the system, pushing on the plug. So with this uh, one, one second plumber, it suggests that we don't um, use any sort of uh, lye or acidic drain cleaner in conjunction with the actual one second plumber because of the danger of blowback. However, uh, it still recommends that you wear the safety glasses. So. I'm going to do at least that. Um, I guess we're in the far fringes of plumbing experimentation doing what I'm about to do because as I say it does say don't use it in conjunction with these uh, drain cleaners for example liquid plumber or Drano or whatever but anyway I put these drain cleaners down and I've done my best to purge the system of any remaining debris or acid or whatever base or whatever it is that's in the liquid plumber and I'm now going to actually use this and I have people all over my house holding their hands over the, over the various drains that I pointed out and of course I've also got the pressure head that's going to come from the sink and all these things combined I'm hoping will be a synergy the perfect storm that will finally blast the clog from my drain on the day after Christmas when I would sooner be relaxing and watching television 
12 o'clock is the onset of the declog operation. We, we will have had the liquid plumber in the, in the drain for half an hour, even though they only say 15 minutes. So we're all getting hyped up here for this event. It seems to have eaten a little bit of the, uh, of the plug because I can see the water's going down, so I'm adding some extra. Should I be doing that? Probably not. But now we're, we've almost, we've used most of the, of the, of the actual jug. So this 12 o'clock extravaganza when we actually blow the lid off this thing uh, should be quite spectacular. So you probably wonder what a, a guy who does caving is making a YouTube video on, um, on plumbing. And there's a, there's a huge connection between plumbers and cavers. Uh, there's a significant proportion of cavers who are actually plumbers and they do caving in their spare time. Uh, and I've always theorized as to the reason being that plumbers like to know where the water goes. Possibly people are born to be plumbers and the same applies to the cavers. Where does the water go? What tunnels does it follow? And I guess you could look at those little copper pipes as something that travels under the ground, just like open cavities and there's some kind of fascination or connection. Um, I've also noticed a fair number of cavers are gemologists, so that somehow makes a connection with me as well, as I'm a gemologist. I am not a plumber, but I am a gemologist. And my theories on that, well, just about the beauty of nature and, uh, you know, the wonderful crystals and so forth. And then you can apply that to caves as well and the formations and the beauty of the formation. Enough of that from you, Norton. Okay. We've had enough. Okay, so this is where Michelle's going to be. Let's just, I need a video now. Michelle will be there. Yeah, this is Michelle's spot. Hand over the drain. Thank you, Mich Michelle. Michelle. Thank you, Michelle Cessna. So here's Norton. He's he's plugging the sink for the for the big blow here when it comes. Thank you, Norton. You're welcome. So to my caving partner in Hamilton, I know we're operating outside the the code with what we're doing, but you weren't here to offer us advice. Plumbing stories. <laughs> Let's blow this puppy. Oh, man. It's time. Okay. okay. Positions. Everybody. Positions. Nick, <laughs> just be very positive with your movement on that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Norton. Okay. Hey, Michelle, you ready? Are you, uh, Maggie, come on, we need you here. Oh, boy. Michelle's ready. Come on. Can you okay. get, put that yellow plastic bag over there? All right, we ready? Okay. I'm the only one who's going to get it in the face, right? Okay, I cannot video the actual plunge because I need both hands, but here we go. Three, ready? Yep. Oh! No. I hear a tree running. Yep. Let's take the rest. I think we blew this puppy right out of the system. Yep. Nice. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you, Maggie. I think it did. Here you see living evidence, because I actually had to pound it one more time with the plunger, and it's going down. We're running hot water down it now, just in case there was ice as well. I'm not sure which the issue was. Some claim I put wax down there. I deny that. Uh, from the candles, from the power outage the other week, or the other night. We're just running hot water down. Right now, just clearing it out. Whatever. <laughs> Team picture. <laughs> There we go, we, we actually used the hose as well to pump hot air down underneath just in case there was an ice issue. Thank you. Well nice Thank you for demonstrating, Maggie. The backward pull, the backward pull is what it's about. Yes, do it once more. Yeah. Thank you, Chief.